Well, you recognise him, I know, but he's definitely on view today. The top scorer in the league, and it's live. Well, this is the setting for our featured match today. Welcome to you. Martin Tyler here along with Alan Smith. This is action from EFL League Two. It's coming up very shortly for you. Against Carlisle United, against Macclesfield Town. Should be a good one. A lot of talk about the tactics these two managers are likely to employ beforehand. We'll soon find out. And the lineup for the home side goes like this 4 3 3. And they've got natural wide players in that front three with a central striker. I think that's the key because those lads on the flanks, it's quite a complicated job actually because they've got a come inside, support the centre forward and they've also got to funnel back when they haven't got the ball so an onus on them Nicely lined up for the set piece specialist here with this free kick Well what a great opportunity this is to take the lead Stevens. Goalkeeper goes down and comes away with the ball. Well played. It was great goalkeeping. He didn't shirk the challenge, did he? That's the way to win the ball back. Well, they come here, the visitors, with this wonderful defensive record. Actually, it is the best defensive record in the division. Well, they've got some good individuals at the back, and they've also got great understanding across that back line. Looks to shoot! He's done well to block. Oh, just too high. Yeah. Couldn't quite get over the ball, but decent effort. To Jones. A strong player, and he shielded it well. Kelvin Atuhu, stopping the pass, getting through with a good piece of anticipation. Well, here he goes. It's good to see a player do this. Just struck too hard. Goal news from Crew. It's a goal for Port Vale. 20 minutes played, 1-0. Great to have Alan McAnally out and about for us. And he's brought us right up to date again there. Very skilled. These passes may look easy, but the uh, work off the ball is very important. Hope. The two. Good interception. It's a bit lazy in possession. Etuhu, patient play as they try to get the goal that will put them in front. Saw that coming and intercepted. <laughs> they could get the ball back here and they have done. Well, they use the forward in these positions, dropping deep, he lays it off, and they play from there. Comes in strongly. Etuhu. And Jones. It's a very good interception. 
keep you right up to date during this match with what's going on elsewhere. And here's Alan McAnally. It's the second goal for Colchester United. 34 minutes, please. Oh, great chance. And one pass away from being a great move. Goalless possession, fairly equal. Just need one of these teams to take a bit of a chance, a bit of a gamble, commit one or two more men forward in the uh, hope of getting a goal. Kelvin Atuhu. Jones. And the ball's with Bridge. To Jones. Very good physicality from him to shield the ball. Another turnover in play here with that interception. Kelvin Atuhu. Got his foot in to cut out the pass. Promising forward play from them again. The target, players in the centre. <laughs> Two minutes left, that's minutes. added time. time. Stevens. That's good passing, probing. It's half time and the score is nil. Referee just checking everything is in order and he blows for the second half to start. Cameron. Stevens. Nothing wrong with the end. They could go in front here. Can he do it? And they score. And they've opened the scoring here. So the first goal, it's 1-0. Hope. Well, space to get the cross in. Oh, they've got a corner here, it's deflected. You can hear the excitement from the crowd because good chance this for an equaliser. They're normally really well organised at corners. Went with a header and he's good in the air too, but not quite good enough then. Bit unfortunate. Next time, maybe he'll bury it. Well, I'm hearing that there has been a goal elsewhere and Alan McAnally is the man on the spot. Alan? It's a third goal for Colchester United. 53 minutes clean. 3-0. And we're back here again, thanks to Alan McAnally. Great chance! Here's the chance. That could be a game-winning moment to go two in front now. He's tucked it away, well out of the goalkeeper's reach. I'd love to see that. Don't have to whack it from that kind of position. Just side-footed home. Just widen the margin here to 2-0. Blocked off the pass there. Substitution now for the home team. They've lost the ball. Threading it through. And he shoots. But oh, what a happy goal scorer. He's found the way past the keeper once already and now he's knocked in his second. And the hat-trick is definitely on for him. Well, scoring in any game is worthy of celebration. When you get two, it is special. And he is feeling that special delight at the moment. So they restart again, a bit demoralised now, I think, in a game like this. Nothing wrong with the industry. They could go in front here. Can he do it? And they've scored. And they've opened the scoring here. So the first goal, it's 1-0. Great chance! Here's the chance. That 
could be a game-winning moment to go two in front now. He's found the way past the keeper once already and now he's knocked in his second and the hat-trick is definitely on for him. Just a quick couple of questions. Thank you for your time, really appreciate that. That's all. And good evening on what is a perfect night for football. The floodlights shining down on the players as we speak. I'm Derek Ray, and joining me in the commentary position is the former England defender, Lee Dixon. And we have live action from the FA Cup to bring you today. It's Colchester United, and they take on Macclesfield Town. Yes, Derek, a break from league action for these clubs today. Obviously, a long way to go in this tournament, months away from the final. But both teams will be hoping they can put a good performance in today and put their place in the next round. Well, who will be the player to decide the outcome, to determine the course of events? No reason at all why it won't be this man. Lee, what do you anticipate seeing from him? Well, yeah, when defenders look who they're playing against, they always look at the goals. Two goals in his last previous game. He's certainly a threat to them today. Thank you, enjoy the game. And the contest begins. This is how it looks for the home side. And this is a formation most people in the game are very familiar with nowadays. Yeah, most coaches are adopting this formation. What it does give you is two holding players in front of the back four to protect them. But it also gives you three supporting players to that central striker. Cuts it back. A case of foiling the opposition by whatever means. Here's the lineup for Macclesfield Town. Vassell. Now this might pay dividends. Easy meet. Harry Pell, and a throw in forthcoming. Ooh. 
Robinson. Brown. Harry Pell. An awful lot of green space to run into. Space and time for the cross. Well, he knew he had to get to the ball, and he did. Breaking at pace. Keeping the opposition at bay with that splendid challenge. Jackson. Harry Pell. Brown. Possession and patience, the watchwords. Extremely sloppy in possession. Stevens. Useful looking ball. And that was a very fine read. Conley on the ball. Jackson. Well, couldn't keep it. Harry Pell. Frank Nuble. I must say, this looks promising. Cameron. Gomis. Stevens. Promising looking ball. Can they put it away? Brown. And Nuble has it. Harry Pell. Are they going to forge ahead? The opportunity was there, but he got it wrongly. Well, even I would have scored there. He's had an absolute nightmare. The hosts have had the lion's share of possession, but I don't think the manager or the fans will be too happy with this performance. It's all been a little bit too slow, too pedestrian. They need to find another gear if they're going to go on and win this. Well, sometimes you can't argue with top-notch defending. Stevens. I just couldn't keep the ball. Scope to be created in that wide position. This looks promising. Moving forward effectively. Surely! And that's a fine stop. Now the teams are locked together. Will it stay that way following this corner? And he's fired over the corner. Not fantastic defending. Let's see if it helps the opposition. We've had the official word, there will be a minimum of two added minutes. Brown, Comley. A chance then for the respective managers to address them. Really tense battle so far. And now the second half is underway. Just not looking confident in possession. Ryan Jackson. And fed forwards. What can he do from here? He's taken on his opponents here. Well, that's very smart defending. And now they have the ball again. Oh, 
Well, you might say he'll be happy with some aspects of his performance so far, but not every aspect, Lee. Well, no goals for him, no real chances either. He needs to help his team a little bit more just to get involved in the game. I think he would be the difference if he was playing better. Jackson. Well, he's thwarted him almost effortlessly. Gomis, bodies forward and the break looks on. Cameron. Marcel. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Not much defensive cover there on the flank. Crossing possibilities. Maneuvering his way forward. Couldn't keep it. Stevens. Oh, the pass not finding its target. And we're inside the final 30 minutes. Passing it around, looking for the goal that would put them ahead. Robinson. Crossed into the penalty area. Well, he failed to get it away properly. Vassell. Stevens. Well, they've lost possession of the ball. Might be able to produce from this position. Comley. It's with Pell. Not getting anxious when they have the ball. It is a decent looking attack here. Always going to be the goalkeeper's ball. giving them the gift of possession oh a nice looking pass we wondered if a goal was forthcoming but it has arrived now well finally the deadlock has been broken not long to go now how will that affect the opposition 1-0 then Others to play it to. And a chance to level it. It's still alive. Well, good defending. Clattered out of there. Well, they're hanging on by the fingertips. The crowd can sense it too. They could do with another one just to ease the tension in this place. Probably on the ball. Brown. Precise ball movement. He's given the ball away unnecessarily. Dawson. Stevens. Gomis. Promising looking ball. It might be. No shortage of excitement. Level again. No wonder they're excited. So a level contest. 1-1. given away might really be able to trouble them here and teammates to play it to it's been whipped towards the near post well they were clearly on the receiving end so a free kick is next Vassell inside the final five minutes now Stevens. Gomis and possession lost intercepted well the fans are being very vocal they're desperate for a goal will the players respond well the goal at this stage could be decisive the electronic board has been held aloft two additional minutes here Jackson on the ball. Jackson and Norris. Norris. An attack full of promise. He's got the score! 
the shot wasn't really far enough away from the goal. And that is that, the end of the game, even Steven, and so a replay will be necessary, Lee. Yeah, it was a tight game, wasn't it, Derek? I could... questions regarding the match. Yeah, it's a great day for football in this lovely stadium. Alan Smith is sitting alongside me, Martin Tyler. Our football today is cup football. It's a knockout round, so everything to play for. What a game this should be, Alan. Yeah, some teams are suited Thank to knockout football, game. others aren't. But we've got a couple of sides here, I think, that will be uh, harboring ambitions of going all the way in this competition. And here it is, the starting 11 for the home side today. He looks as though the manager has set up a team here. Whatever happens, we're not going to be beaten today. does look that way, doesn't it? And uh, I hope it's not a dull affair, this, because we've seen this manager set up teams in the past and just concentrating on a clean sheet. Strong, powerful clearance. Well, suddenly they could be on the counter-attack. Well, he really could be the star of the show today. He's the one to watch. He's the one that his teammates will be looking to to make the difference. 
This is how the visitors will line up today. The target, players in the centre. Defender did well to get to it, but hasn't really finished the job. Chance to go at the opposition with pace. Opposition slow to get back, so possibilities still on the counter-attack. Guiding it through the defenders. Well, it's come to nothing in the end. For right. Well, the ball's been deflected out, so it'll be a throw-in. Have a look at what's on now from this wide position, not closed down. Gorman. It's a good piece of defending to stop the supply into the centre. To really get at the opposition here. Cut out the pass. Game still level, but the pressure might be counting. It's a very good effort to stop that cross. Defender's done well here to clear the danger. He's got some room out here in the wide position. Let's take the lead here. They've got out of jail there. And that's dealt with the problem. That could open them up. First goal is always a crucial goal, and they've just got it. So the first goal, it's 1-0. Now right. Gorman. Lovely ball. And in the shot go. Looks certain to score. Well, talk about agility. That is magnificent. In goes the corner. What a goal that would have been on the volley. Yeah, the crowd were on the feet. They thought he'd done it. had more than enough of the ball today but you can see the manager down there is less than happy obviously his team's losing that's bad enough but no real sign so far that they're going to get back into this because they're just not able to find a way through that defense uh, it's a gentle header really and uh, no threat to the goalkeeper no he could have saved that with his eyes closed offside given Allen oh I'm not sure he's got that one right you know I think he was on Bit predictable with the passing and the opposition able to deal with that for right the build-up is patient Oof, we hit it well enough uh, but as we can see nowhere near the goal yeah, and his teammates aren't overly impressed with that read the intentions Keeping the ball and looking for an opening. Taking on the opposition and the responsibility as well. The will be two added minutes. Two minutes of added time. 
very good attack, broken up in the end by good defensive play. Gomez, Stevens. Harmlessly through to the keeper. Well, the referee has signalled for half time, and it's one. We're just going to find out really how good the drainage is here in the second half. It's been pouring through half time, it's still coming down in stair rods. Looking to win it back. Going forward well. It's right. Well, the pitch not quite wide enough for him there. Well, the player, but we're threading it through. They read the opponent's mind and got the ball. Gomez. Stevens. Great chance. Well, he scored. And it's a big moment for them in the match. They've pushed their lead now to two ahead. They've played well to this point. But sometimes a two-goal lead can be a dangerous one. We'll see. Just widen the margin here to 2 0. Number 20, Emmanuel Azadibi. The home team about to make a change. Gorman. Threads it through. Can he set himself now? That did look like a real opening, but they've dealt with it. We've reached the hour mark. Half an hour to go. Gorman, now right. Really trying to use the full width of the pitch here to make some progress. Here they are, still probing away. Intercepted well. A little surprised, the visitors with less possession here, but they have played some slick, really beautiful football out there. The way that they broke out from defence, it's just been the pace of the play and the way that they've chosen the passes, it's been so clinical. Wilkinson, opportunity to cross it now. Oh, the attackers come in, near post, decent distance from the punch from the goalkeeper. The losing team have got to do something, and this is it, the substitution. Keeper choosing to punch the ball rather than catch it. Stevens. And 20 minutes to go. Good interception. Trying to slip it through. And that will end the threat, at least for the moment. These are kind of conditions you don't see that often. And uh, I must say, it's fun. Players seem to enjoy sliding in, don't they? And going for challenges that they otherwise wouldn't make. Yeah, it can get a bit dangerous if they start lunging in. I think what the ref has to look at. is whether the ball is getting caught up in little puddles on the surface. I see a substitute coming on for the away team here. They're looking for a hero here, this team. It looks like the opposition is in for an aerial bombardment here. Judging by the way, the centre-halves are going forward. Can really get at the opposition here. This could be a chance. Top performance from a top team. And they've
emphasise their superiority with the number of goals that they've scored. So off they go again, trying to make some sort of mark in a game that they're being dominated in. Wilkinson. Well, the game can be influenced so often by substitutes. The home team are going to perhaps gamble on that working for them now. Now right. That's cut out. Getting the ball back and thinking attack straight away. This is how they love to play on the break. Now the shot! And he scores spectacularly. Oh, talk about a dramatic appearance there from the substitute. Brilliant goal from him. There's another one for them. Well, it's certainly going to help the goal difference. It might be important at the end of the season. A little surprising that it is as one-sided as this late in the game. But the team leading deserve the margin of what's going to be a very comfortable victory. It's right. That's the referee's decision. Two added minutes. Two minutes of added time. Now right. Could be a cross here, it could be dangerous. Here's right. There's still danger here after this half clearance. Treads it through. Over the goalkeeper to the back post. Saw that coming and intercepted. Contest in the end, comprehensively. Hi there, have you got a minute for a question? Thanks, that's all the questions.